Chelsea are reportedly close to signing into the London Wonder Kid. It's the perfect representation of building for the future. Let us discuss this. Okay, now as you saw in that video, credits to Chelsea FL on Twitter or Chelsea FC News. It's a excellent video and all credit goes to them. I'm not taking any credit for that video. The video is not mine. Credit goes to them. Thank you for allowing me to use that video as well. And I appreciate it. The video is not mine. I'm not taking credit for it. I'm not trying to make money from it. It all goes to them. All credit goes to them. And that is how it is. Now let's let's discuss this excellent player that is known as a water kid at Inter Milan. He's a player that has done excellent at Inter Milan. As you saw in that video, he's 19, so you know, one for the future. And you know, I must say that this is a move that I love because it highlights the, the fact that the club are actually building for the future. They're using a model that I like. And I'm not going to really say Real Madrid and things like that, but Real Madrid is doing something similar in terms of, you know, using this same method of, you know, bringing in these young players from early, integrating them into the squad, not loaning them out, and, you know, getting them to get that experience around good players so that they can further their careers and benefit a team that, you know, is, is aiming to win trophies, winning titles, and, you know, being considered one of the best um, and amongst the best. So I think in that sense, this is a good move. Obviously, we signed Karni Chukromeka um, from Austin Villa, a player that's for the future, and it was revealed and said that he'll be in the first team. So the plan is not to loan him out, and it'll be interesting to see what happens with him. But he's a player that, you know, has showed value for Inter Milan. He's, he's a player that is excellent, and, you know, I, I've spoken to some Inter Milan fans, and, they, and they're not happy about this move. But, you know, some are happy that he's going to move to a club where he can further his career and benefit. And that will benefit him and, you know, get him that, that European experience. So it's good for him. And, you know, it's a case where he's a promising player. He can score goals. And based on the reports that I've seen, it is being said that he's a player that if you, if you deep dive into it, if you do an analysis of him, he's a player that has been compared to Frank Lampard. Whether or not that is an ideal one to do, because I don't really like comparing players to other players, or ex players rather, it's being said that something that he's known for the greatest is that he's he's moving into the box, getting to the box at the right time, marking his, his runs and scoring goals whenever possible. It's being said he's a clinical player. Whether or not that is true, that, that is for many fans to, to see. I've watched him in terms of a game. I have to be honest, I'm not going to come here and lie and say, oh, I've watched him through, through the entire period he's been at Inter Milan. I, have, I haven't. And I'm not going to lie and say that. But what I have seen of him based on videos, based on the stats that I've seen, based on what I've been hearing from Inter Milan fans as well that I communicate with, they are saying that he's a player that has this ability of getting to the box at the right time, scoring goals whenever necessary, and whenever he thinks it's, it's good. So we're building for the future. We're also targeting players like Anthony Garden, 
and it's positive it really is positive so it, it's something that you know it, it, in the future you know it could benefit us obviously we know Kanti you know is is getting older Kovacic is Kovacic is not the the most ideal in terms of him picking up injuries every year he's, a, he's more of an attacking midfielder but you know obviously if the plan is to eventually switch to a a back four again he, he probably uses as a 4-3-3 4-2-2-2 it still means that you need midfielders so that they can drop deep because it's being said that he's a player that in some cases he's not the greatest right now obviously in terms of the defensive side but it's being said that he's been utilized in a defensive role in terms of as a midfielder in the past but his main profile is as an attacking midfielder so it, it adds that level of um versatility if if that part can be developed and you know Tuko will be elated about this he'll be happy that this move is close and it will benefit the, the youth team whenever they need any assistance in terms of the development squad needing some um, help from the first team and things like that. So it, it's going to it's gonna benefit them, it's going to be a positive thing for them and I'm happy for them and it, it's, it's, it's good that you know we're signing players that are younger, starting from now getting these players that you know not many competition is out there. Obviously there was, a, there was the likes of OG Miss that I believe was interested in him. And there's some other European teams interested, but you know they've slowly pulled out. So see how taken first place in that race, and it's being said that he'll be completing a medical soon. So that's excellent. It's fantastic. And you know, when he comes comes to Chelsea, you know we'll see if he'll be going on loan or not. But I think right now the narrative is being said that he's going to be staying. So it's a fantastic move and it's good. But it's an excellent signing when it happens when it's official. But it's becoming close. Medical coming soon and. You know we can move forward from there but it's an excellent move so that's the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace have a good one stay safe and you know help me get to 300 subscribers i'm 21 away so thank you very much for that you guys are really appreciated thank you very much and you know this channel will be nothing without you guys so thank you once again i'll see you guys next time peace have a good one and stay safe keep the blue flag flying high